The Great Monster Hunt by Norbert Lander and Tim Warness. Early one morning, a funny noise woke up Duck. It sounded like psh psh, and it came from right under her bed. Duck was not quite sure what it was, and she was much too afraid to look. Instead, she jumped out of bed and ran for help. Pig, Duck yelled. There is something under my bed and it's making a strange sound. It goes psh, psh, grrr. Psh, psh, grrr, asked Pig. Oh my, we need someone really strong to help. Stay right where you are. And Pig ran to find Bear. Pig told Bear all about the frightening noises under Duck's bed. It goes psh, psh, grrr, bang, bang. I wanted to tell you, Bear, because you are so strong. Bear lifted a huge log. It is true, I am strong, enough for almost anything, he said. But I think we better find someone who is loud enough to chase this thing away. So they ran to find Wolf, who was about to start his early morning howling. Bear told him the dreadful news about the terrifying thing under Duck's bed. It goes psh, psh, grr, bang, bang, pam, pam all of the time, Bear said. We thought you could help us frighten it away. Oh yes I can, Wolf proudly said. There is no match for what I can do. Just listen. But maybe we also need help from someone really clever. So they ran to find Al. Listen, Wolf said. There is a dreadful and terrifying sound under Duck's bed. It goes psh, psh, grr, bang, bang, pam, pam, growl. Al was lost for words. We thought you might know what it was, Pig said, because you are so clever. Al said, clever? Yes, that's what I am. So I can tell you one thing, Duck is in great danger. Pig, Bear and Wolf huddled close, closer together. Are you sure? They asked. Oh yes, Al said. Could you imagine anything kind and cuddly making such a noise? It must be a monster, yelled Pig. Oh, what are we going to do? The only way to deal with a monster, Al said, is to trap it. Clever Al. So the animals set about gathering rope and nets and useful pokey things. Then the four of them bravely set off towards Duck's house. Owl led the way because trapping the monster was his clever idea. Next came Wolf, howling loudly. Then came Bear with his monster buster stick. Last was Pig, clutching his great monster catcher, Net. Finally, they arrived at Duck's house and flattened their ears against the door. But no monstrous sound was heard. No screaming, nor crying, nor calling for help. Maybe we are too late, whispered Bear. Oh no, Pig cried in despair. Duck, are you there? called Wolf. Then the door slowly creaked open. It was Duck. You're here, she said. Duck, you are in great danger, whispered Bear. There's a monster under your bed, cried Pig. Duck looked fit to faint. A m monster, she whimpered. How, how do you know? Because it goes psh, psh, grr, bang, bang, pam, pam, growl, Pig yelled. And ooh, Al added. Come on, let's get it and the animals charged into Duck's house. Up the stairs they crept, then they heard a sound. Psh, psh, it went. It came from right under Duck's bed. Owl flashed his torch. The animals gasped. They could not believe what they saw. There, right under Duck's bed, was a tiny mouse, snoring softly in its tiny bed. Well, I never, Duck whispered. Do you know what we've just done? Al smiled. 
All feeling rather silly, the animals looked at each other and giggled. Psh, psh. We just made a monster out of a mouse.